So here we have a Seaflow aftermarket water pump for a boat or motorhome or camper van, RV, whatever you call it, wherever you are in the world. So basically, the problem I had with this pump is um, this pump is only about two years old. When you open the water at a constant flow, and you say if you're having a shower, this pump would cut off and cut on. Usually that will only happen if your water is opened a little bit. Like say if you open the tap a little bit, you hear the pump coming on and off. But if you have the water open at a constant flow, it shouldn't happen. So this pump was getting stuck. So it came down to this pressure switch here. After opening it out and finding out that the pressure switch pit marks on it, because it, it kind of overheated when going on and off, like uh, when you turn on the tap a little bit, the pump wasn't adjusted correctly. What I did was open these two screws here, um, took off the pressure switch. Inside there, there's a small micro switch like this. This is actually the original one which was in here, uh, which I have now changed. So um, just to confirm it was the switch as well, I drilled out the rivet here and opened the switch up and uh, right enough found out that the contacts for the switch had uh, blackened and um, pitted up so it was arcing best is just to replace this switch that's what I've done here so just this switch just sits in here so I replace that switch and you should be good to go so this is on a C flow water pump which is I think it's just a aftermarket of sure flow water pump yeah so hopefully it helps someone out there who's having a similar issue so if you have your water open at a constant flow and it cuts off and cuts on, best to check the power first to the motor when it's plugged into your camper van. Make sure that these connections here are not your culprit. So best to put a voltmeter here and measure the volt when that problem occurs. If you see a constant steady flow of 12 volts this side of the motor, so you know that 12 volts is co coming constantly to this motor and the motor part is fine. Uh, that would be pointing you in the direction of the pressure switch. For those who would like to see how the pump switch was tested, keep watching this video. So on this pump, uh, we had the water pump turning off. Uh, once the water tap was open at a constant flow, the pump was just shutting off and then turning on, turning off. Narrowed it down to a faulty switch. So that's on this pump, because this pump is about a year and a half old. So we kind of knew it was not the pump and we did some diagnostics checks. And it turned out to be the pressure switch. This pressure switch just runs a normal small micro switch, um, similar to this one. So what, we'd, what we've done is open the switch up just to check. We tested on a multimeter and it was working fine. But once there's load on it, a different story so we opened it up we drilled the rivet out so it's it's like that we drilled the rivet out from this side opened it up and we inspected the the points that make contact in the switch and we found out that the points were really black and pitted this is probably because the pump used to surge at uh, low pressures when you open the tap used to cut on and off really quickly the pressure switch wasn't adjusted properly which is kind of compromised the switch but I would still recommend just replacing the micro switch they should only cost a few dollars at the electronic shop they've used in microwaves and things like that so we've got a replacement switch we can install and put the pump back together So here I've got the new micro switch, this is the new one, this is the old one. Just gotta reassemble it together. So 
so I've readjusted the pressure switch according to how many turns I went out before so you might not be able to see or you might be able to see I'm not sure I've marked the small allen key and the body with the yellow marker pin and I have wound out the spring tension while counting how many turns out I went and then while putting it back together now I that many turns there. so now with this diaphragm here there's a spring that goes in here So that's the pressure switch assembled back on the motor. Next step would be to reconnect the wires and then test it out in the motorhome. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope this was of some help to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thank you.